there's only a few more um, things that I want to cover for tonight. Um, I do want to show you like the workaround for if you have um, a surface that was um, kind of created the opposite direction. Unfortunately, um, the geometry itself is a not behaving per my memory. Um, so I want to go back and research how to do it the ways that I'm trying to teach again. But anyway, the workaround for it is to create a new surface, unfortunately. So if you're creating a surface that is, um, you know, extruding the opposite direction, recreate it and, and actually draw a surface that's going counterclockwise. So you would go from here to there to there to there. Um, let me grab that surface, actually. It should be this one that I just created. So there's that one, and then there's, um, let me hide that surface. Hide. Um, and then there's another surface that you would create from here to there to there to there. So um, depending on which uh, one you created, it should um, map the opposite direction. So if I set it on this surface, it should, well, it flipped the side. So if that happens, um, you can just kind of change your original um, subdivisions here to be the opposite side. So I guess I could do this and this and that and that, and that would put it up top. Okay, so you just flip them. Um, oops. And then, uh, let's see, the other one, I created the opposite direction, which is that, and now it's going the, the back side. So you'd have to just, depending on how you create your surface, you could encounter any one of these conditions. Like it could have turned out exactly the way I did it, or it's sideways, um, or it's forward, or it's backwards. So um, <clears throat> just be aware of that, and just know that anytime that happens, just make sure you're flipping your U's and V's so that it matches. Um, and then if you're positive or negative, um, theoretically, you could just change your amplitude to be um, a negative number so you could just go there to there but sometimes I like to avoid doing that wherever possible if I know how to or if I have the energy not to be lazy so anyway um, that's uh, that's kind of generally it in terms of flipping your normal and finding the right surface so show put that back here on that what's that um, it so I that was the part that is, is not behaving the way I thought it would. Um, and I, I swear you used to be able to do this, but I need to go back and research it, research it again because if you just flip it, it doesn't seem to change it. I thought it could, and I think there are ways of doing that, either here or in uh, in Grasshopper, but neither way is doing it now, and I just need to go back and refresh it. And when you memory. say flip it, you mean like rotate it? No, no, like literally like flipping the surface so that the positive side. Um, are you familiar with analyze direction? So every surface has a direction. When you click on this button, it says analyze direction. So the positive side of this surface is facing the opposite way. But the geometry is still extruding this way when it's positive. And I believe it's because when you create the geometry, that is the geometry that gets referenced. Um, so even if you create it and then flip it, um, the like you've already you've already done an operation on it. And when you reference it into Grasshopper, it always goes back to the original surface when it references. So uh, for instance, actually, if I have uh, like a cube here, and I hope I'm not shooting myself in the foot with this, but I think this is how it works. Um, something like this, and it is intersecting with this. Yeah, okay. Trim. This. That. Whoops. Okay. So um, I've performed, I've now performed an operation on that surface. So when I reference it, it's not going to cut out that side. Does that make sense? It still considers the original surface, no matter what I've done to it. So even when you flip it afterwards. But I thought for flip it was different, or there's some other operation that we can do. Um, but anyway, I'll figure it out uh, if there is something else. Um, but it's, yeah, my memory is a little hazy. Anyway, any other questions?
Okay, so um, let me just close the thought on this one uh, with this video, and then we're going to move into like patternizing this thing. <laughs>